Today we want to design a few tables for the Uzima borehole drilling system. This is the form 4 paper 3 question paper. I'm going to help you design the most efficient table so that your system can work perfectly and save a lot of memory as possible and work as fast as possible as well. So stick with me till the end of this video so that you can get insights, tips and tricks that can help you in designing your system. <laughs> The tables that you can see on the screen are not the only tables that you're going to require for the perfect working of the system. You may require more or few depending on how you are going to think about the system that you're about to develop. For my case, I have only seven tables, but as I progress designing the table, you will find out that you might delete a few tables which are not necessary or you can create more tables to create conjunctions for the tables that are not actually relating well. If you don't know what that means, meet me in the comment section. I'll be able to explain to you. First table that I have here with me is called the table client. This table is going to hold all the clients that are ever going to register into the system all the clients who are going to come for services from the company are going to be registered under this table so if i open this up you can see that i have these uh, few records and i can also add another category here which is going to be a drop down list these are all the fields that i'm going to contain in this table if i go to design view you can actually see that the tables the table has only the fields clients id the name the address the telephone number and the category of the client now you might be wondering why it is only short text now the usual the, the usual way that i i think about this is this if you're not going to calculate anything in a particular field you don't need to change the data type to any other data type except short text telephone number is supposed to be number okay it's supposed to be a short number because it is at least 15 characters now i cannot i can change this to number there's no problem In, instead of doing that i can just leave it at short text and everything will be just fine because there's no any calculation that i'm going to perform in here so i cannot get any errors the only thing that i can do is pick the number and call that client nothing or nothing else if i open another table for example the drilling services this is a table that is containing the types of drill and their down payments this is the table that is in the question paper just as it is so from here you're just going to later when you reach to forms remember forms are used to enter to receive data and then save them into tables so forms are going to be helpful for fetching data from this table and then populating it to another table which we're going to look at called the table service so the table services this is where all the services that have been offered to clients are saved if i open this table you're going to see let me open the fields so that you can see what is happening you have the client id this is going to be a foreign key a foreign key is just a key in a table which that key does not belong there belongs to another another table so it is in this table as a foreign key this id is a foreign id it is a foreign id because it is id belonging to the table clients now it is here because it is representing the the services that were given to this particular the this particular client so we can get the id of the the client the service that he he received the doubt the doubt payment that he gave out this i don't think this is supposed to be here the client type you can move that one because if uh, we know the client type and it is not going to change then we can move that data into the table clients i don't know whether, whether they are going to understand what i'm saying the client type remember the the client can either be an individual or a group of people or commercial you can get that from the question paper the first so the client i don't know where i placed this here but i'm going to delete it from here delete this row client type client type is also called let me open clients you can see is category so the client the category of the of the client can also be the type of the client so that data can be saved here instead of having it in this table so that every time you want to refer you can just come to the clients table and to get that information another important record we can save in here is the the fee the sum of the fee that the, the client is able to pay the type of the pump the cost of that pump 
So as we continue with the development of this system, you are going to see how you can manipulate the table so that it gives exactly what you want. Like for example, I designed this table a few days ago and right now I can see there are a lot of changes that I can make to this. For example, we don't need to have the type of the pump and the cost of the pump in the same place. We know the type of the pump and from the table pump we know there are only three types of the pumps. So if I only have type of the pump then I can automatically receive, retrieve the, the amount without having to to put that here the cost of the pump and also the type of the pump it is not necessary we also have the tank capacity that is if if we need to install a pump to to that client the cost remember we have to multiply liters by the service that they offer per liter and then you get the cost and then the height depending on how deep the the clients want he wants his drill and also the height to to the water tank and then at the end we are going to calculate the tax 16 percent of whatever total the client gives or you can see the data types here remember what i told you earlier if you, you are not going to do any calculation on a particular field do not and I underline the word do not change it to text it is going to cause problem later it is not advisable as for me let me close all this save also close these tables now another table that is going to be to be helpful is a, a table we call the plumping remember at the end of the question we are told that the the company also gives services like plumping and repair of some sort now that is actually a table that you're supposed to design yourself it is not straightforward which is a table that is going to be very efficient for the services that the company is going to give in terms of repair and the plumping. So this information that I have given you is going to be efficient for you to design the best tables. And also as you are designing your tables, remember the relationships between the, the two tables or the, all the tables that are going to be relevant to have a relationship. Not all tables should be related, only two to three tables which are efficient to run together. For example, the clients and the services, you can relate the the two tables because you need you need the services that were rendered to the the client and because you cannot save the client's information together with the services that he received so you have to create two different tables to save the information of the client and another table to save the services that the client received if you understand what i'm saying give a like to this video and also don't forget to subscribe now moving on